Hi everybody, it's Chris Frame here, and it will come as no surprise to you that the Queen Mary 2 is one of my favourite ships. When she entered service in 2004, she was the first transatlantic liner to join the Cunard fleet since the QE2 in 1969. When QE2 retired in 2008, the Queen Mary 2 became the last of the great transatlantic liners, and she's operated regular transatlantic voyages every year since she entered into service, with crossings between New York and Southampton on the North Atlantic Ocean. So I thought it be fun to look at five reasons why the Queen Mary 2 is such a special ship. So let's first look at the planetarium. The Queen Mary 2 has the first seagoing planetarium on board a passenger ship. The planetarium is called Illuminations and it's located at the front end of the ship in front of the Royal Court Theatre. This means that the Queen Mary 2 has two unique showroom lounges uh, and entertainment venues. The planetarium is a multi-purpose room. It has a large planetarium dome that comes over the centre of the room and it lowers over the red chairs allowing those people to watch the planetarium move on the large domed screen. But its multi-purpose use also allows it to act as the cinema for the ship, so they have movies that they host there that is both 2D and 3D, as well as being the lecture venue, and it is a fantastic lecture venue. There is no obstructions on the sight lines, and for lecturers such as myself speaking in here, it is a really exciting place to speak because you have such a great interaction with the audience. You can see them from the stage, and they can clearly see you. And so it is probably the best lecture venue that I've ever spoken to on board a cruise ship. The next area of the Queen Mary 2 that I really love is her open promenade deck or boat deck. Located on deck 7, the deck wraps around the entire ship, allowing you to make a full circuit of a Queen Mary 2 without having to take any stairs or to leave the boat deck area. This deck is covered in real teak wood, which is quite different from many cruise ships which use the faux wood plastic finish. The deck is wide, allowing passengers to easily pass each other without bumping into each other on the deck, and there's also real wooden steamer deck chairs out on the boat deck, allowing passengers to sit down comfortably and watch the ocean go by. So this area is an authentic ocean liner touch that allows the Queen Mary 2 to stand out amongst modern day cruise ships. Moving back inside the ship and one area that most passengers will visit sometime during their voyage is the Britannia restaurant. This is Queen Mary 2's largest restaurant and it caters for everybody who is in the Britannia grade of cabin. There are two seatings for dinner in the Britannia restaurant and an open seating for breakfast and lunch. The features of the restaurant include the three tiers or three levels, the lower level, the mid level and the upper level and this actually allows passengers to pass through the restaurant using deck 3L which connects the forward end of the ship with the rooms aft of the dining room such as the Queen's Room and G32. The restaurant has some elegant fixtures and fittings including the beautiful tapestry that I showed you before. You also have the staircase here which is a focal point and the captain's table which is used during gala dinners where the captain dines with passengers in the Britannia restaurant on the lower level. Now a video about the Queen Mary 2 wouldn't be complete without mentioning her speed. The Queen Mary 2 is the fastest passenger ship in service, a title that she's held since 2008 when the QE2 retired. The Queen Mary 2 achieved over 30 knots in her speed trials and has a maximum cruising speed of around about 28 knots, allowing her to complete those fast transatlantic crossings. This extra speed also has advantages as it allows the ship to visit more ports in the usual cruise itinerary because she can get from place to place faster. This is achieved by the Queen Mary 2 not only having diesel engines but also having gas turbines to give her that extra boost. And here we can see the ship's funnel which ventilates the engines. It's designed to resemble the funnel that was created for the QE2 uh, and it has three main components. It has the main funnel which is the black part, it has the cowling which is the red part and it has the scoop which is this large scoop shaped structure you can see at the front of the funnel there which helps direct the wind up and over the funnel carrying the soot and smoke away from the ship's aft decks.
And lastly, let's talk about the Queen Mary 2's bow. The Queen Mary 2 was designed as an ocean liner, meaning that she could undertake direct line voyages over a large expanse of ocean year round. And because of this, she shares traits with other ocean liners, including having a very long, very strong bow. The Queen Mary 2's bow, as you can see here, is quite unique in that it has a breakwater, which is that structure that you can see that deflects the waves away from the superstructure and keeps the front of the ship safe. This is actually a feature that she shares with other famous ocean liners including the Normandy which was built at the same shipyard as the Queen Mary 2 in France. The Queen Mary 2's bow is also extremely strong, it's got reinforced steel that keeps the ship secure during those Atlantic voyages and it allows her to encounter some pretty heavy waves and heavy seas without any concern to the ship's safety or to the passengers on board. So this was just a few things that make the Queen Mary too unique, and there are many other traits that are special about the ship, including her immense size and her queen's room, the ballroom that has the largest dance floor at sea. So let me know what you think are the Queen Mary 2's most unique and special traits in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be sharing some other videos, including the top five features of ships like the Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, Oriana, and Aurora in the near future.